Today I want to make a fairly short video, by my standards at least, showing you how I made a Pet Sounds inspired song complete with the five part vocal harmony, the odd instrument ensemble not dissimilar to the unique combinations of Wrecking Crew veterans that Brian Wilson was using on Pet Sounds, and a reverb that sounded classic echo chamberish. I even used my DAW, which for the layman means Digital Audio Workstation, or the computer program you use to record, mine's Digital Performer, to create a production aesthetic that was as similar as I could get in the digital realm to a Pet Sounds type vibe. For those of you who record or produce music, or have heard other artists try to bottle a bit of Brian Wilson's secret sauce, you know it is no easy task. Brian was recording on tape with the day's greatest engineers, microphones, and mixing boards, with a live instrumental ensemble of some of the world's best musicians, the Wrecking Crew, using real echo chambers, writing the best songs of his life, that's an important one, can't just be garbage music that sounds really good, and after overdubbing the group vocal harmonies and then the lead vocal and mixing, it was done. I was using a computer in my room with a bunch of my buddies from the Stratosphere scene overdubbing, which means recording one at a time instead of all together like Brian was doing, the instruments. Today I'm going to go over a song I wrote called Small Ones, which is a play on my name, Smolens, Tim Smolens. I was a late bloomer, very late. I think I started puberty at like 17, so they called me Small Ones. Kind of in a bullying way, but I'm not traumatized by it, Tim Small Ones. It wasn't that big of a deal. This song is from an album I released in 2002 for a Beach Boys-inspired modern boy band take, a project I call ISS, which stands for Ideal Social Situation, and the album is called Forget About the Girl. If you like how it sounds, please consider supporting the record by picking it up on my Bandcamp, which has the 15 album tracks, as well as almost the same number of bonus tracks of vocals only, or tracks only with instruments and no vocals, just kind of like the Pet Sounds box set. You can really hear the production shine. Although recording digitally in the computer offers the massive convenience of editing individual performances as well as the entire arrangement after you record it, and not suffering from any of the wear and tear, maintenance issues, gradual degradation, you know, that a tape machine does. The sound is not as warm and cohesive as tape and tends to be a bit clean and sterile, it's noiseless. Tape has a little bit of noise, but for some reason it sounds good. To compensate for this double-edged convenience, I knew I needed to engineer warm tones, get a believable echo chamber reverb like Brian would use when you'd record, you know, it's Sunset Sound or Western, and most importantly, Write a song that has harmonies and chords that are based on the knowledge that I acquired from studying Brian Wilson's unique harmonic language, you know, with the alternate bass notes, the unique chord movements, all of the above. Please take a moment to help me grow this online community. It's really tough to gain much traction these days, but by hitting subscribe below, ringing the notification bell so you know when I release new videos, hitting the like button, and leaving comments, you help me tremendously in my efforts to reach more people with this channel. If you feel so inclined, you can even leave me money tips below, which are called super thanks. Pay a visit to my YouTube homepage and hit the playlist tab to see the various categories that I offer, and you can easily navigate to the subjects that most interest you. From the various types of instruction in my music theory, production, and songwriting, all the way to my various original music projects, it is all clearly laid out on the playlist page. You can also sign up for my email list on the front page of my website, timsmolens.com, to stay informed about all the latest happenings. If you enjoy the content I put out on this channel and want to take this type of learning to the next level, then please consider joining my Patreon called High Castle Conservatory. To achieve the echo chamber reverb effect that I envisioned, which in 2001 when I was recording this, there weren't really any good computer plugins that modeled an old school echo chamber. So I grouped all the instruments I wanted to be wet, which means have reverb on them, and ran all of the instruments I wanted reverberated through a high-quality Demeter Spring Reverb physical unit out into PA speakers in the studio room of a recording studio, and I had two microphones to capture this analog echo chamber simulation or whatever it was at different depths. I probably had about three feet and seven feet for the microphones. I ran the vocals through the same reverb setup separately so I could maintain individual control of them with the wet dry of the reverb of the vocals compared to the band instrumental track. Since this is an old production of mine, it's been 22 years now, man, getting old. I do not have the dozens of individual tracks anymore, I'm not the best archivist. But I have the music only on a stereo track and the vocals only on a separate stereo track, which in a way will make this showcase a little easier for me to get through in a timely manner. I'll give you a lay of the land, a glimpse under the hood, a 
peek behind the curtain, disclose the ingredients of my secret sauce, help you see beyond the veil, show you how the sausage is made, of what I feel is a fairly successful Pet Sounds type emulation, you know, production and composition in a modern digital setting. Some of the reviews that were done on this album said similar, that they hadn't heard anything this close. Again, please consider picking up the deluxe copy of this Forget About the Girl album by ISS, which includes the album tracks as well as the session bonus tracks on Bandcamp. So let's dive into this. First, I want to play you some of the track and see if you can pick out each instrument that is there. My foggy memory cannot be entirely relied upon, so I'm going to listen and see if I can pick them out. First, let's make note of the interesting decision to not use any drums on this song, but just a few different percussion items. I think there's tambourine, sleigh bell, wood block. Now, I'm trying to remember which instruments I put in here, because remember I said I didn't want drums, so I wanted a lot of other things. So I think there's three basses. There's there's three basses. There's a stand-up bass, a hollow body bass, like that. Not that one, but a, like that. And then I think there's a guitar, you know, playing it in the low octave, and so it's an octave higher than the bass, kind of muted and through an amp. Let's take a listen to that. You can hear the bass right there. I'm turning up the bass frequencies just so you can kind of hear. There's three things doing it. Next thing I want to show you is a Phil Spector trick. He would take a baritone sax and pretty much just double the bass as long notes. It's You put it through the echo chamber too. It's, it's a really simple idea. Let's take a baritone sax and just do long notes of the bass. So if the bass was going boom, boom, ba -doom, ba -doom, the baritones is just going boom. That's it. It's it's the oldest specter trick in the book and you can start employing it right now. But listen to the baritone sax. But it's not just a baritone sax because I don't think Spectre did this, but I felt like mine wasn't uh, wasn't quite cutting it. So I added bass trombone to play also in unison with that baritone sax. All right, so we have the three basses: stand up, hollow body, and the guitar. And we've got a baritone sax and a bass trombone in unison doing just the long notes of the bass notes. Boop. Now check out the tambourine, which is going through a significant amount of that echo chamber I talked to you about. In this case, just doing quarter notes. But it's not just a tambourine. It's also sleigh bells. So you can hear the slight flamming of two performances. The flamming of two performances actually makes things sound good and realistic. You don't want to line them up too closely. So unless they were played atrociously, you just leave them. So listen to the tambourine and the sleigh bell hitting the quarter notes. So that's our foundation. There's no drums. There's three basses baritone sax and bass trombone, and now we have tambourine and sleigh bell. What else do we have in there? So there's a glockenspiel doing this. And it's not just a glockenspiel. If Brian taught us anything, or if Phil Spector taught us anything, is you could have two instruments play the same thing, and it makes a bit of a new instrument timbre. So in this case, we take the glockenspiel, and then we take a lead guitar, kind of slightly surfy tone, but nothing too out in front. And it sounds kind of similar to Sloop John B in a weird way. Then... So Brian did this thing where he'd put a wood block through tape delay, like in God Only Knows. It sounds like this. Old school real tape delay. They'd run it through an actual tape where the head of the tape was delaying it. it has this sound that's like... Duh, 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 duh. Listen. It's kind of a fast delay, but it's like three... Duh, duh, duh. 
This is from the actual Pet Sound Sessions. That's the actual tape delay they're using. That's the woodblock guy in God Only Knows. I would love to meet that woodblock guy from God Only Knows. So let's listen to a little more of this backing track. And I think that is most of the instruments. I don't think there's anything. I think there's an organ here or there. Let's see, let's see what else we have. There is an organ. Dun, dun. The wood blocks going through the tape delay. But there's also real mouth pops, this thing. I don't have a tape delay right here, but. So you get both of those together and they sound like this. Organ. Almost like the organ in uh, Hang On To Your Ego. Think they can do it alone. But remember how I said before there's no drums? Most rock music or pop music has drums. This the basses are driving it, the tambourines are driving it, the vocals will be driving it, as you'll see. The dit 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 there's these background vocals, but there's no drums driving it. Remember that Glockenspiel uh, lead guitar combo? Listen how cool that sounds there. Wood block. So, but the tape delay is going. It's a pretty cool tape delay sound. Hear those baritone saxes coming out of nowhere? They sound really good, right? Watch. With the bass trombone. I feel like there's a little timpani in there or something almost. There is. Is there strings? I don't think there's strings. What? There's that glockenspiel with that lead guitar, kind of like Sloop John B. So yeah, I'm not saying it's as great as Pet Sounds, but it's a pretty decent little emulation of, of the style of the song, everything to do with it. There's definitely more humor. Uh, Joel Robineau from the Once and Future Band sings the lead on all those wonderful weekend parts. The, all the crooning parts are, is Joel. He's an incredible singer. Let's listen to some of the vocals only. Remember I told you this was about a pun on my name, Small Ones, Smolens. I was a late bloomer, very late. I was still a boy when my friends turned into men. They laughed. They stared through a hole in his underwear. He's got small ones. But guess what? Small Ones isn't small anymore. There's Joel. He's a great crooner. Da, 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 
I had to do like a little Mike Love triumphant. I had a good weekend with a girl. It's very silly and juvenile, but it has that early Mike Love type of feeling. There's some pretty funny lyrics in the song. I made her food while she scanned flowers, like a computer scanner. Soap operas for hours, what a good day. This was just a certain part of my life. I don't really want to explain it any more than that, but it's kind of pathetic. In fact, it's really pathetic. She's scanning flowers. I'm watching soap operas, but I'm so in love in a Brian Wilson kind of way. It's really pretty pathetic, honestly. I made her food while she scanned flowers. So Beatles there. Another really pathetic lyric, like when when the girl finally breaks up with you and you print out all the emails and show them to her and said, didn't you mean when you said, it's, it's really just like the last pathetic move you could do before you show up at their doorstep and blow your brains out. So I'm, I'm glad I only made it to that print out the emails for them to see if you really meant any of that. So that so that's this lyric, but the melody is a very sweet Brian Wilson type of melody. In fact, of all my Brian Wilson emulation or inspired, however you want to call it, melodies, this one right here might be the one I'm the most proud of. It made my baby cry when she saw the printouts of the letters that she wrote. When we were young and in love. Beautiful and pathetic. Small, small ones. Isn't. Small ones isn't. Here's Joel again, doing his amazing little crooning. He's had a weekend with a girl. I mean, you just come home bragging about it to your friends. It's it's really more patheticness, but it's funny. Now that type of background vocal, I kind of got it from Heroes and Villains, or the um, I kind of got it from Smile on the did did it did it did it did it did it just that whole type of short. Percussive vocal, you know, works pretty well. He's a real bragger to this kid. Yeah, this, this kid had a great weekend, and he, he is not shy to tell, tell you about it. Next, I'm going to play you the track only.
Thanks a lot for watching this video and taking an interest in my channel. Please help me reach a larger audience by hitting subscribe below and ringing the notification bell. Check out my video playlist page to find the categories that most interest you. Leave me a super thanks here on YouTube, and even better, come join my Patreon. Please consider buying music for my original projects ISS and High Castle Tele Orchestra. Also, don't forget to sign up for my email list on the front page of timsmolens.com. You can find information about all of those things in the description below. Thanks again.